Hello everyone, this is Rebecca from Papa Tradishwa and I'm here to share my last haul video for the month of June uh, with fabrics, ribbons, and other uh, fabric based items. Um, so I threw this in, uh, this one in. Um, I'm going to be making some uh, quilts for my grandchildren and uh, I have one granddaughter that uh, really likes black, bright colors so this will go into her quilt. Um, she was two in January and um, yeah she's it, it's funny that most children look like a relative when that relative was little but she looks like me now uh, we have the same haircut even though her hair has never been cut it's the same as mine uh, among many other things okay and so this is just uh, a piece of um, it's like brushed cotton I don't know if this will end up as a journal cover um, I was kind of thinking something uh, nature themed like a field notes journal or some type of nature journal maybe something masculine not sure about it it is only two-thirds of a yard so it really couldn't make anything else maybe a bag of some sort this I thought would make really good um, pockets for uh, journals or bookmarks for anything that's a sewing based journal um, I don't remember where I got this um, but it was in a thrift store somewhere around here um, so all of this is uh, you know it's for um, uh, this is the um, embroidery floss but I thought it would make really good backgrounds um, this is something that um, I use the brand sometimes, uh, this one, Wonder Under. It's uh, great for uh, if you need to uh, stick something together um, fabric-wise, but it uh, does work for paper as well. So if you don't want to glue something while you're uh, going to sew it, if you have any of this, you just iron it uh, between your pages and you're good so it's just a um, it's a type of fusible webbing uh, it feels like freezer paper on one side it's got a texture on the other that's a type of glue and but this particular kind is it says paper backed web turns any fabric into a fusible fabric so you can uh, you could put this onto fabric and then print on the fabric uh, if you cut it down to the size your printer would take. I found this last week. It's uh, It was in a bin with little scarves. Um, I don't usually go for the darker colors, but if, if they really appeal to me, I will get them. So this will be something uh, either made into a tie around a journal cover or the journal cover itself as a covering not sure yet but uh, it sort of has a plan um, I got this fabric not sure how much oh wait here it is it is one and two thirds yards by 46 inches this has holes in it so I'm thinking jelly plate but then it could also use for all kinds of decoration and then inside of here is uh, an old headband that uh, I'm going to cut this part off of in fact I can do that right now and just get rid of that part So what a pretty piece of lace to put on. 
um, our general cover or cut up and make uh, clusters out of. Lots of potential there. Um, two little netting cream and like an olive green that can always be used as decoration. Curtain trim. I won't take this whole thing out of the bag, but you get the idea that uh, if you like that sort of thing, um, be cut, it could be cut into snips uh, and uh, used in clusters. And then this one is similar. This is one that's worth three yards for a dollar. This is one yard for a dollar. This is the one I saw first, and I like it the best. So, how pretty would that be on a journal? Part of the cover. Again, endless possibilities. Or at least a whole lot of possibilities. And then I found these. Well, this bag is taped shut, so I don't know if I can get it open or not. That's what scissors are for. Okay, these, it says 16 bags. They're just um, little muslin bags. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with them, but I was thinking to your coffee dye, uh, add them to a journal, and fill them with little ephemeras. Uh, ribbon, I've got a lot of this type of ribbon, but I didn't have this color combination. So, uh, and then this one was with it, so it's like, <laughs> and the pink tags mean they're 50 cents. The blue tags mean they're a dollar. Okay, this material I started not to get because I don't usually go for the shiny stuff and then I'm like, why not? If I tried to buy it, it would be, you know, one, uh, one yard and 20 inches, just say one and a half by 44. And um, so my daughter and I, I'm teaching her the the steps of putting together a journal, a vintage journal. So we've coffee dyed paper and yesterday we sewed a signature and got our covers prepared for covering. And so I was looking for something to cover uh, the journal I'm making and this is going to be going on my spine, but I won't spoil it uh, yet. Um, but here in a few days I'll be sharing that. Um, I'm not sure what these came from, but they're just a whole bunch of short pieces of a dark olive covered ribbon. So uh, they will be put to good use. Um, I have more ribbon than I know what to do with, and I've gotten rid of so much. But, uh, you know, you find it, you buy it. Um, this is a, a sheer ribbon, and I think it's wired. Anyway, if if it is, it might just be the selvage. But um, I will be taking the wires out. I don't like the wires. Another uh, sheer, like medium olive green, 96 cents. This one's wired. Um, I could definitely see that going into a romantic theme journal or anything really feminine. Um, this is bias tape made from uh, fabric, a nice little kind of a watermelon color. Another very nice um, shiny kind of olive green. I'm drawn to olive green. This is a bow. 
and I don't usually do dark stuff like this, but I couldn't pass that up either, so it will become something on something. And then, this was a bag, and I had to buy the whole bag to get that one. And there's two grays. I might end up keeping this one, the sheer one, but I don't really... It's like elephant gray. And a cream, so I'll keep that one. And a sheer black. Not sure about the black yet. But I do like the fact that it's sheer. So it's a possibility. So the gray is going to get donated back probably. Okay, I mentioned in my first haul video that I wanted to make a peacock journal. And so I've been gathering things. And this is actually a piece of a blouse that I bought in a thrift store a while back and I cut the lace off of it. This was like around the collar and the shoulders. That's what this part was. Um, and it hung over the the fabric of the, of the blouse. Um, one thing I do is I, I buy lace clothing when it's really cheap, when they're going to toss it. Uh, they put it on the clearance rack. And then I cut it up to use. So this will go in my peacock journal along with this uh, roll of ribbon. And even though this doesn't match exactly, there's a possibility that this one would also go in. Just because it's so rich in its gold and its bright blue. And this big roll, several yards there, was a dollar. 50 possibly maybe it was just a dollar but at any rate that's part of the future peacock journal and I've saved the best for last or what I consider the best for last I found this blouse last weekend and I've washed it but it's just got all of this lacy goodness it could be cut into strips or panels. It's got some strips already uh, in it the way that it's made. Um, it's got nice lacy sleeves. So this is part of, you know, upcycling and repurposing. Um, back when I was sewing commercially, I would buy a skirts uh, depending on what they were made from and turn them into purses uh, and that was one way that I upcycled it's like I can see it in one form and automatically know what to do with it in another form um, but that's it for today uh, my next video I will be sharing some of the the, the clothing and other fabric that I've cut down that's for sale and then a handful of other ribbons and laces and things that I have prepared uh, ready to or that is actually in my shop already but that's it for today thank you for watching and I will see you next video